Happy Sunday, guys. Welcome back to Barham Engines. <laughs> So, be honest with you, I've been off for a week now. I've had an absolutely lovely family holiday down at Longleat. Centre Park's there. Really, really nice. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. But a little bit, as, as sad as it sounds, I'm bursting to get back to work now. Um, but, but the reason for today's little Sunday special is I've just had to pop down to work to grab something. And before I go in there, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a little video just to see what sort of state this workshop is in when I've had a week off. <laughs> I know, I know Paul and Isaac are going to be watching this thinking, you cheeky sod. But we're just going to go in there and I'm just going to have a little look. Um, and then you can sort of see how I keep the workshop compared to what the boys have been keeping the workshop like. We're going to have a look at the floor. We're going to have a look at the progress. We're going to have a look at my office desk, see what sort of paperwork is on there. And um, yeah, quite intrigued to know. So let's get in there and have a look. So I'm just unlock the door here, guys. Let's get in the office. Doesn't look too bad in here. Looks like John's made a little bit of an effort in here. Um, always a little bit grubby, but not mountains of paper and, and stuff to go back. So all good so far. So we'll just head into my office here. Oh, light's been left on. Not too bad at all, really. We've got, oh, what we've got here? Yeah, we've got sort of mountains of invoices there and another big old stack of invoices here. But apart from that, what we got? Apart from that, not too bad, guys. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just get me microphones on and then we'll go into the workshop and have a little look at the state of it in there, shall we? Do you know what? I'm a little bit nervous, really. I'm hoping the boys did what I had. Oh, hello. I'll tell you what. Fair play to them. They've kept the floor. I was expecting mounds of swarf on this floor but it don't look too bad at all so first thing i noticed we've got the kit car on the ramp so they must have had a move around there just to get that up there out the way for the winter shouldn't think we're going to be using that at all now until maybe the end of the winter early spring it's a little bit chilly to trash about in there especially not today because we've got a bit of snow um vans in the workshop got a big old box here i don't know what that's from oh who's that for Paul Dove. Don't know whether that's going back or come in, but that looks like one of Paul's. Probably one that's going out, I would have thought. And he, he normally gets them picked up from here because um, it's a bit iffy for the big lorries to get up his drive. So, yeah, no worries there. Still got the, the big Rover on the stand here. Looks like John has done the valves and seats now. Um, got the camshaft in. So that one's, yeah, that's looking, looking fantastic. Isaacs give that a good old clean up, still a bit of paint to get off, and then I expect to get that primed and painted up. Lovely jubbly. Oh, what we've got here, we've got the crankshaft in the Cosworth. Do you know what? It's really exciting. I know I've only had a week off, but he's cleaned the benches. Do you know what? That man has made me proud. I expected this to be a dump, but no, he's kept it all nice and clean. So, what we've got here, right? So. <laughs> I've noticed he's got one, what I said to him with the Cosworth, I said, if he gets, if you get this far, um, I left him with the CVH and the, the VR6 to crack on with. Um, didn't think he'd get this far, to be honest, but I said, if you manage to get the crank assembly balanced on the Cosworth, could you get a rod and a piston in? Because the customers supplied these pistons, you see. Um, I said, if you get the crank in, just put a piston and rod down the hole, just so we know how much we've got to take off. And... Looking at this, we're right up the top of the stroke. Um, be honest, I haven't checked the, um, the rods yet. Didn't even check the length of them. So Paul is, in fairness, he's not really familiar with the long rod short piston setup. But as you can see, this is a standard Marla piston here with someone's put the cutouts in. I didn't put those in. So what's happened there is we have got a, a long rod setup. So... We're either going to have to get in touch with the customer tomorrow and say, listen, we need the, the long rod, the short pin um, piston, the Cosworth Racing piston, or a Wasna do one, um, but we cannot be using these. So I will be able to use them. So if he wants to sell me those, I will have them. That's absolutely fine. But we're going to have to find ourselves another set of pistons because as you can see, 
that clearly isn't correct. Um, but Paul will be a little bit alarmed by that and he'll be scratching his head once he's got that in there. But I shall, I shall make him aware of that tomorrow. But yeah, good to see the cranks in. Um, obviously the Rover, the V8 there, we've got to sort of crack on with that. Now, this would be the CVH. And I'll tell you what, he's all pretty much done. The man has been cracking on like you wouldn't believe. Now that is looking absolutely splendid compared to what it was. You've got the sump all painted, the block all painted, looks absolutely lovely jubbly. Um, I expect I've got to do the, the setup of the timing, um, but yeah, I'm not sure whether he's done the, the clearances yet, but as you can see, we've got rid of the hydraulics, we've got solid lifters on there. So whether he's done that or not, but yeah, really, really happy with that. Fair play to him. He's cracked on like a good one. So just moving over here, yeah, really, really, really proud with the progress and the state of the workshop is immaculate, to be honest with you. Um, kit car up there, out the way, really, really happy. But then again, to be honest, say this a bit quietly, but John used to be a bit of a nightmare with the sweeping up. I'm the only one really usually that sweeps up, but um, Paul and Isaac obviously got their, got their act together, learning from the best, and I'm really, really happy with the progress of this now. Um, so by the looks of it, now we've got the CVH done, we've got to sort the Cosworth out. It looks like Paul's pretty much gone through the head there. Um, let's have a little look. Yeah, he's got all the valves. Looks like he's got the valves, the seats done. So we've just got to skim that head, um, give that a, a paint, and then the head's all done once we've sorted those pistons out. Um, but yeah. Again, over here in the, in the cylinder head bay, all looking rather clean. Yeah, looks like they've got on really well. So last week's video, um, guys, the Friday one, the one on um, the chap taking the engine, disappearing and coming back and eventually only paying half the money. Just want to thank you lot um, ever so much for the comments down below on there. And read through a good few of them, as I expected, really. Um, maybe I'm a little bit too soft, you know, we loaded it up. The guy seemed absolutely fine. He seemed like he was happy with it. I was completely of the impression that um, we had an understanding where, you know, we were of an agreement where we didn't really know whose fault it was. We didn't build the engine. It was, it would have been well out of warranty anyway. So, you know, we've checked it through, we've stripped it, you know, we've done the machining needed to, to build the engine back up. Um, although he did state that he was maybe selling it in bits. So that's what we've done. I even, to be honest with you, I even cut the hours right down on the, the stripping and the check-in and all that. So I only charged him three hours for that, which is way under what it took us really. I just didn't charge him for storage. And as I say, when he came in, he seemed absolutely fine. He put it all in the car. He read the invoice. He didn't say anything about it. He come in the office and, um, and proceeded to pay the bill. So when he said to me, look, do you want me to take it all out? I've just got to pop down the bank seem genuine you know and he's a local chap so why would I make him take it all out for the sake of that so yeah in future you live and learn I'm gonna have to just anyone that brings an engine into us guys um, if you don't pay you don't take it away it's as simple as that so I am going to have to ask people to sort of a, as big a nuisance as it is if the payment fails to go through take it all out of the vehicle or pay before you go so yeah learning curve on that but um, there was also some of you guys said, look, you want to go to your solicitor, go to the police, um, or you can, you know, if he hasn't paid, you can proceed to send him solicitor's letters um, to get the rest of the payment. So maybe that's another thing that I may have to consider. Uh, when I get back, I'll have a word with John, see what he wants to do about it. But um, yeah, thanks ever so much for commenting, guys. Really, really appreciate it. So there we go, guys. Shouldn't really have doubted him, should I? Um, I sort of had a subtle word just before I went away and said, boys, can you just keep your eye on John and just sort of sweep up if you can? But they've left it really, really nice. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Um, so yeah, what else can I say? Looking forward to coming back tomorrow, guys. Um, this was only a, a short one, really, just to sort of see the state of the workshop. More than happy with that. Should never have doubted the boys at all. Um, always had faith in them, but cannot wait to get back tomorrow. I'm going to be doing another video tomorrow on 
We'll get those rods measured in the Cosworth and the pistons, see exactly what we've got there, whether they are those long rods that I was thinking that they were. Um, but yeah, all good so far. Hope you've had a great week, guys. I'm sorry about the, um, I made a little bit of a boo-boo actually. Wednesday's video, Wednesday just gone, I did put on Monday before when I was away, no, the Sunday, sorry, just before I went away, I put on scheduled for Wednesday, but I actually, it actually came on straight away for about an hour or so. So I, when I'd scheduled, took it off and scheduled it for the Wednesday, it was already running. So by the time you guys got to see it Wednesday, it wasn't a new video. It was sort of two or three days old and um, didn't get nothing like the views on it. So I'm sorry if you missed that guys. If you have, just go back and see the one where we did the, you see the thumbnail with the flywheels on there. Just have a look at that. And um, yeah, we're going to be back to normal from tomorrow. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Until another video, please like, subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you, see you next week. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.